Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Cubi Studios here. I don't have an intro for this big-nosed freak over here, so I'm just going to inform you that last night when I was sleeping, I bit the side of my fucking mouth, and it has like a sore, and I'm doing this thing where I can't stop touching my tongue to the bite in my mouth. You guys know what I'm talking about? It happens like every time I have a weird like bite in my mouth, or if I, like, I accidentally bite the side of my mouth, which sucks. Anyway, uh, I'm using the Six Samurai deck for some stupid reason. I really don't know why I picked this deck. But I did, so we're just going to go and attack, and he's probably got a bunch of set cards that are gonna fuck me up. There we go. Bottomless Trap Hole. Motherfucker! I should've known that was gonna happen. I should've, like, just set Marshmallow right out of the gate. That would have been a much better decision, because now I'm going to get... Oh, I thought he was about to, like, XYZ summon these things, but I guess two direct attacks probably better than one. I didn't read these effects. It's a Fabled deck, right? Oh, that's not a Fabled card. On a level four or lower monster is special summoned. You can special summon this card from your hand during the end phase of this turn. This card was on the field and sent to the graveyard and destroyed. I mixed those words up. You can add one TG monster from your hand, except TG Warwolf. Get it? It's like werewolf, but warwolf. The fabled Gashina? This vi this series has only just taught me that I don't know how to read. Uh, when this card is discarded to the graveyard, special summon it. If this card is special summoned this way, it gains 200 attack, and when it is removed from play, and is removed from play when it is removed from the field, mother. Okay. Let's set marshmallow. And then start attacking with shit. Because I do still have this guy who can still kill both of those. But I'm prepping for the XYZ summon that's about to happen. Or Synchro Summon. See? If I had summoned my, uh... If I had summoned my 1800 attack guy, he'd have been fucking dead. Boom. But Marshmallow won't fucking be dead. That's awesome. At least I got that going for me. Oh, Burden of the Mighty. I think still affects Synchro Monsters. It's XYZ Monsters it doesn't affect, right? Still 100 too strong. That sucks. Uh, as long as this card is in the field negates the effects of spell cards that target face-up warrior monsters on your side of the field. Huh. You can only control one face... If you control a face-up six samurai monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, dope. So let's summon you, and then, uh, that sucks. That sucks, that completely ruins my plan. Mystic Space Typhoon. I haven't seen the expert mode AI use that too much. You can only control if you, when well, this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, target ones in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. What does this guy do? The end of the damage death of this card attack, destroy the monster this card attacked. You must control a face-up six samurai monster with a different name. This is a six samurai. Okay. We're gonna kill this, and I'm gonna take some life point damage for it, but that's fine. Boom! At the end of the damage step, destroy another card instead of no. Boom! Forgot I had already taken a significant amount of life point damage. Didn't read that that thing completely negates the effect, so I just took that life point damage for no reason. <sighs> fuck. And then there's Honest, because why not continue to fuck my mouth? Well, Marshmallow, it's just me and you again. Buddy old pal. Okay. This could be going a lot better. And by a lot better, I mean literally anything else would be better. This card can attack twice during each battle phase. It doesn't matter if it can attack twice if it only has 1,400 attack. Once per turn, you can target one face-up spell trap card and destroy that target. Um, there's no reason for me to summon any other monster as long as Marshmallow's holding the wall. And it would get destroyed by that dude anyway. The Synchro Monster. Reincar monster Reincarnation. Dope. That's the only use of Honest anyway is to keep it in your hand. Fabled what's as fuck Summon that, of course, why not? Synchro summon probably with the dude on the left side of the field. Max C. Or su Synchro summon with everything. Ugh, what is happening here? 
I haven't seen a synchro deck in a while here in expert mode, so this is kind of unusual, a little bit scary. 6,000? Oh. Well, fuck you. The... That is the highest defense. Get fucked. I don't care. Ha! <laughs> I was almost a concern for like half a second. Awesome. Okay. Well, who should I summon now? I guess just this dude, right? Summon him in attack mode. Which is probably dumb. But I'll work with it, because hopefully it forces him to turn that into defense mode, but it probably won't. What is this? When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one mo for a monster from your hand. I don't have any XYZ cards in this deck, and I really don't know why I don't have any XYZ cards in this deck. I have, like, no excuse to not have any. That is a very poor idea on my part. If I attack and these both kill themselves, um, I could get a direct attack in. But I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to set this in the meantime. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to play it safe for now, I guess. Which I really should be playing safe when I only have 3,000 life points left. Maybe it was a good idea to place... Maybe it wasn't, because now he can synchro summon something. He's probably going to destroy that guy on the right side. Yep, I probably should have killed that while I had the chance before it became a synchro monster. Before he did all whatever the fuck he's just discarding for. Yeah, that. Okay. That went pretty bad. And then I lost some cards like Marshmallow and Glasses. That would have been really clutch. If they're in the end phase, destroy them. If you do, take... I don't want to do this because I don't have enough life points left to do that. Uh, just end this turn or whatever. So when this thing destroys, uh, oh, it's only when it inflicts battle damage. But still, now I can't. I don't. Not only can I not uh, win by draw out, but I just probably can't win. Hmm. This is an interesting duel. By interesting, I mean I've made a couple of mistakes where I should have fucking took out that one dude before he could have synchroed, because now he's doing way too much. Also, lol with the fact that, uh, my fucking marshmallow is still standing. When this card is on the field, it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can select up to three failed monsters in your graveyard and add them to your hand. He has 3,000 attack. If you control two or more face-up six samurai monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent can only activate... You could destroy it. Bleh. That's not really doing me much good, because this thing can fucking kill everything I've got anyway. Um. Yeah, I can't play anything, because the difference in life points. Oh shit. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I probably should have played something to take an attack. Damn it! Well, that sucks. At this point, I'm just using random decks because I don't want to bore the viewer with me just using my Spellcaster deck over and over again. I want to try and mix it up. So here we are, I'm using my Steel Swarm Archfiend deck, which is possibly one of the weirdest combination decks ever. Uh, but I'm doing it. I almost don't want to just directly summon something because I don't want it to get destroyed. Special summon this in defense mode. Does he activate Trap Hole? Ah, cool. And now I could probably summon this. So this you can pay a thousand life points to target up to two cards your opponent controls and return them to the hand. Well, let's do that. Do this. Boom. Activate the effect. And I can return both of those cards. Go back. Go back. That's an interesting first turn by me. And then I can set... Acts of Despair on you to gain a thousand attack. Uh, pay 500 points for lower to special summon one four over monster from your graveyard. I don't want to pay 500 for this guy yet, anyway. Alright, so let's get a decent direct attack in. So, I basically have a 2,400 life point advantage on him because I have to, one of that thousand, I had to 
pay for that effect. I, what, I don't know what the, why I started talking. What, would, what was I saying there? Why didn't I end this phase? End this phase. No. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I messed that one up. Anyway, I'm, I'm, that was a nice first turn. The tricky... Uh-oh. What's going on here? There's a lot of shit going on. You can special summon this card by discarding one card from your hand. Okay. Let's do this. Once per turn, when you control a monster controls an attack, you can activate this effect if you do during this battle if the attack of the attacking monster is greater than defense position. Alright, let's inflict some piercing damage on somebody. You'll inflict piercing damage on this thing with fucking, uh... Do I activate its effect, like, when this guy attacks, or how does this work? Yes. Do the piercing damage. Do 3,000 piercing damage. Mother of fuck! So let's go over. This guy has... Fucking bottomless trap hole, mirror force... And a bunch of other bullshit cards. Okay. God, I'm probably going to need to pay the 500 life points so I can fucking take an attack next turn. That sucks. That really sucks. Your opponent drew a card. Yes. Infestation ripples. Give me a card back. Oh, fuck. It's just this thing. Damn it! You asshole! Wait, did that negate my effect? I don't know what that did. I thought that was negating my effect. That's why he was doing stuff. Okay, well he got that back, so it doesn't matter. Whatever it just did, that was confusing. Uh, summon Honest, because he's going to kill me this turn, probably. Or he's going to do some mad synchro summon bullshit going on right here. That sucks. Huh. I got too blind in my fury with attacking with fucking uh, all my monsters. Got hit by that mirror force. That sucks. Uh, sure, this thing probably has 6,000 attack now, right? No, only 3,000. That's still quite a bit, though. What is this? This card be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Steel Swarm monster. Okay, but that doesn't help me right now. Uh, defense position, this wouldn't get destroyed by Honest, correct? Control of this card pays 900 life points during each of his or her standby phases when this card is attacked by the la la. The battle damage card inflicts is half. When your opponents, when your life points are higher than your opponents, this game, card gains attack equal to the difference. While your life points are lower than your opponent, this card loses attack equal to the difference. Okay? That's cool, dude. So, if I set Archfiend Soldier, well, hmm, okay, it should lose attack if I attack with this, right? No, this is stupid all the way around, but it should, should lose 800 attack, correct? Okay, it would have lost another, it still would have been more powerful than this, so it really doesn't matter. Even if I'd added the extra 100, because then I would have had to pay 900. Alright, no, let's just take the damage I'm going to take for this, but I got Honest off the field at least. So that's only one attack I'm going to take. Just kidding, two. Uh, probably more than two now. Damn it! Yep, that's going to be game again, right? No, I'll still have 900 left, but pretty much game. That's, ooh, I have 700 left, excuse me. Math is hard. This is annoying fucker. Can I special summon this by chance? Would be destroyed, you can remove from play one field monster from your graveyard instead. While this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can do This doesn't do me any good. I'd lose either way. I can't use this. This is not optional. I'd lose to my own effect. Uh, yeah, that's, this is over. Damn it. Well, I could have placed this in defense. Ah, no, it would have mattered. He would have killed it with that. Or he would have just used this trap card anyway, the same way he ended last duel. 
fuck. Okay. Need to do a little bit of reevaluating of my strategy here. And by reevaluating my strategy, I mean just fucking use my spellcaster deck because it's my best deck. Well, my alien deck's also really good, but my spellcaster one's probably better. We'll see though. Uh, what should I do here? Assume one of these is bottomless trap hole, correct? That should be the assumption I make. Um, yes, and that will be the assumption I make as I set this. Because I'm paranoid as fuck now about all of his fucking spell and trap cards. Okay. It didn't matter. I could have summoned it. <sighs> this guy is fucking annoying. I don't like the way he looks. I don't like his fucking deck. He's a piece of shit. I'm gonna unlock my laptop because it's locked up again and I don't want it to fucking make my recording do something weird because that would suck. He has like 20 monsters on the field right now. Are you kidding me? <sighs> there you go, Synchro, another monster that I haven't seen yet. That's gonna do some thing, make him draw a card. Can't activate the effect, god damn it. What a wicked awesome first turn, and I already know what card I'm drawing first next turn. Because it goes to the top of my deck. That blows, I'm going to use, wait, can I use Fissure? Destroy the face of a monster your opponent controls as the lowest attack. Each time a spell card is activated, place two spell cards on this card. Once per turn, you can remove any number of spell counters from this card. A special type and a monster whose level is equal to the number. Uh, damn. So I'd have four stars, which is not enough for this guy either. So I'll activate Fissure and then just set this. Ugh, and then use magical arm shield, I guess. Never mind, fuck it, it didn't matter what monster I set because he's going to get sent back to my fucking hand anyway. This is garbage. This is, I don't like this. I'm not a fan of anything occurring here right now. Not a fan of it at all, Chumley Huffington. You fucking fat faced fuck. He seemed to go a lot harder on me once I used my better spellcaster deck. I don't know, it would be weird if this game had like a thing where it like rates your deck and determines how fucking hard it's gonna go on you or not. But uh, we'll see. What card should I get? Dark Magician would be cool, so would Card Trader though. I'll take that. That's probably a weird card to grab, I know. But... I'd like to do that just so I can, it'll help me get a better card in the long run, rather than just one time. Because if I play Card Trader, not only is it a spell card for whatever potential card I might use, uh, but I can, like I said, if I get a card I don't want for the situation, I can send it back and have a chance to get a better one. Wow, okay, that's a lot of fucking monsters for the first turn, but luckily, Marshmallow's on the field, so I don't think it's gonna fucking matter. Oh, get fucked, Chumley. Ooh, Mirror Force would have been a good play last turn. Let's see if I can bait him into attacking. I imagine I can't because it's the AI and he's going to turn most of those into defense position now that Marshmallow's on the field and he realizes he can't attack. Be a smart move because there's really no point. Oh, okay, fuck it. He's going to leave all of those in attack position still, so I'm going to fucking play Mirror Force. That is the best Mirror Force usage I've ever played, ever. Awesome, and hopefully I get a half-decent monster here I can summon. And then I can equip it with Card Trader. Let's see, each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. Uh, what does this do? If you control this target, one monster in the... Contribute that... Summon... Okay, yeah, I don't have another spellcaster in my hand yet anyway. So we'll summon him and see if he doesn't get immediately destroyed. He didn't. Activate card trader. And then I can activate mage power. 
which will be another two for him. And then, uh, or another, yeah, there we go. And then I can set this, which will raise his power even more because of mage power. Dope. See if I do a decent amount of damage here. Just kidding, Mirror Force. Well, that sucked. I mean, at least I still got Marshmallow and Card Trader. Do I have enough? Do I have a light and dark monster yet? No. I'll just wait then until my next turn to see if I can special summon. I probably could have just special summoned in main phase two. But, you know. There's nothing to put a spell counter on, so that sucks. Oh, yeah, I do, because that magical plant should be dark. Let's get rid of you. Give me something else. Give me something else. Ah, Sage Power, that would be okay, but I don't have Dark Magician Girl yet. I would could definitely sacrifice uh, uh, Marshmallow for Dark Magician Girl if I get it, though. Let's see if Black Luster Soldier will end this duel, though, or at least close. Uh, I can attack twice if I attack with him, so I'll do that. But another Mirror Force! Who would have fucking guessed? Didn't realize he would have two Mirror Forces. I think you can only have two in your deck, so why wouldn't the AI just say, yeah, fuck it, actually, I want two Mirror Force. The Tricky sucks, because he can be special summoned by discarding something, but... There we go. There's the Tricky again. Dark Magician Girl would be a clutch draw. Just kidding, it wasn't. Dark Magician Girl, let's get, uh... Dark Magician Girl, come on. That's what I want from Card Trader. Nope, just kidding. It was this thing. Which I'll play, but doesn't really help me right now. I need two spellcasters for Magical Dimension to work. I need Marshmallow to hold the line a bit longer, which he's going to do. There is actual Dark Magician. But... I'm trying to summon Dark Magician Girl. Okay, here's Burden of the Mighty, which is a good card, but not what I'm asking for right now. I guess at this point any attacking monster will work now that I've used Burden of the Mighty. So, oh, yeah, there we go. They're, they go in defense position. He's set another trap card, which I'm sure is like bottomless trap hole or something to fuck me over when I play. Oh, what's that? Or he could just fuck me over now. Now I need to trade this guy because I fucking need a monster. And then I'm not gonna get Marshmallow back next turn because damn it! <sighs> I'm getting a lot of bad draws right now. I need this thousand life points. Well, I guess I could have fucking waited. It really didn't matter until I could have put that as a spell counter or something, but I panicked because what the fuck else do I have right now? Yeah, and since I also used Card Trader, I won't get Marshmallow back next turn. Seriously. That sucks. That really sucks. Here you go. Synchro summon something, you fucking asshole. Ugh. It's not a card I need right now. Now I can't even use Dark Magician Girl because Marshmallow's gone. Hey, question. I can't wait for him to know what fucking monster it is. Probably, that was probably the only monster I had left in my deck, actually. Or in my graveyard. Well, that's game. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> it's annoying as shit. This is really, this is really fucking annoying. This is some top level bullshit right now. I'm probably gonna leave all of these duels in because it's the first time in a while I've gotten my ass like really kicked. Like repeatedly. Fourth time's the charm though, here we go. I got a monster at least, who's gonna get bottomless trap hold, probably. Just kidding, he didn't, okay, I'll take that. I'll play this, I'll play Burden of the Mighty. Uh, card, uh, I should probably use this on Marshmallow. His marshmallow seems to be his only fucking weakness. So we'll do that. There's another counter for him. Uh, let's get me another thousand, so I can get mirror force and waste all waste all these. 
Destroy one face-up monster on the field. I don't want to destroy myself, so let's attack. And mirror force. At this point, well, at this point I just gotta assume mirror force is happening, right? I mean, that's the only thing to do. Just assume one of the trap cards is mirror force. Unless he, but for now, unless he get drew two mirror forces in his opening hand, he's not gonna have it for a while. There we go. Lovely. There's an XYZ summon on the first turn for ya. Or not an XYZ, a Synchro summon, excuse me. God damn it, there goes my extra thousand already. This is not, uh, not what I needed. I don't have a use for mage power, and I don't have a monster to summon. Fuck me! Not only is Chumley fucking kicking my ass, but so is the heart of the cards. I'm not getting fucking anything here. There's another two free direct attacks for him, because I didn't get a monster. Seriously. Okay, synchro both of them together, why not? I got fucking hair in my eye. It's awesome. I watched it fall out from my, like, the hair on my head into my eye. Dope. Even with Burden of the Mighty. There we go. Give me another set. Well, I should actually get Marshmallow here. Oh, did not need Dark Magician Girl. I need Dark Magician Girl last duel, not fucking this one. Ugh. I'm getting heated. I'm getting heated here. Fabled Grimro. Nope, don't need to activate the effect. I will, how, well, he won't probably attack with the other one. I would have said if he attacked with this one first, I would have take that and such, such and such and so forth. Uh, nope, I, wouldn't, I don't have enough spell cards. Although, do I... He gains 500 for each spell and trap card you control. If he gained 1500, would he have enough? Nope, he still wouldn't have enough. That sucks. Although, against 200, so it'd be a 37. No, nope, still wouldn't be enough. Even if I sacrificed Marshmallow for him. Well, I have attacked the one on the left, but I have to be concerned about... I have to be concerned about sacrificing Marshmallow in this duel, because he's the only fucking defense I got. I don't want to sacrifice Marshmallow right now. I really don't. I'm going to wait till I get another monster that I can set. I don't remember if I have two marshmallows in this deck or not. That'd be dope, but I really don't think I do. I also just assume that that's fucking... Well, let's see. Maybe if I summon him... I just don't... Well, I summoned him in attack mode. That was a fucking stupid decision. Didn't mean to summon him in attack mode. Fucking at all. Well, I can activate this and have him kill this other monster. But that's gonna lose... Uh, 500. Whatever. Yeah, fucking kill your fabled whatever. Just because I accidentally... I really didn't mean to summon him in attack mode. I meant to summon him into defense. But I'm going to sacrifice him right now anyway, so... Go, oh, here we go. Now, we, now we're getting some XYZ monsters. Why not? He hasn't been winning enough yet. What is this? If this creative card would be destroyed, you can attach... Phase of monsters you control again. 200 attack and defense for each XYZ material card attached to this hand. Or whatever. Ooh, I could use Sage Stone. If I summon Dark Magician Girl, I could get Dark Magician. But Dark Magician wouldn't be enough to kill this. I'd have more than enough spell counters to kill this, though, when this is summoned, so. Let's do that. We'll get rid of him. Next turn, I can summon Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Or Bottomless Trap Hole! Fucking hell! There we go. Turn that target to the hand, and I'll lose this turn. He has some, like, really cheap-ass cards that's just like, yeah, okay, go back to the hand now. You gotta be kidding me. This has gotta be fucking a joke. Okay. He has, like, the same setup at the beginning of every duel, right? Uh... This should protect it from black hole and mirror force actually each time a spell card is activated so we'll place this activate this uh, give me marshmallow again because that's how I roll 
And then we'll attack with him because it's probably going to be Mirror Force, but this guy can withstand a Mirror Force. Dimensional Prison. Never mind, that doesn't destroy it. That is the first time he used that, and that's the perfect scenario for him to have used that. Seriously? That's gonna happen now, too? So he's gonna get two free direct attacks here, because why the fuck not? Oh, just kidding, he's actually gonna set monsters. That's an interesting choice. Considering my field was totally blank, and there was nothing I could have done. You can remove one spell card and then destroy one spell trap card on the field. Let's summon him. This is gonna get bottomless trap hold, because I don't fucking learn my lesson. Boop! Sure. I'm gonna destroy both of those trap cards, because why the fuck not? What is this? Book of Moon. <sighs> cool, destroy that, yeah, after it doesn't matter if you destroy it or not. I'm summon Magical Marionette next turn, and I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna flip that back over, destroy all of his trap cards, if this thing lives through this turn, but it probably won't, it only has a thousand defense, and he's about to synchro summon like no one has ever fucking synchro summoned before. I haven't even seen that monster yet, so good on you for still having new monsters to summon in play. You fucking prick. Okay, just kill that. I didn't need that. That's not important. Not important at all. Okay, Bird of the Mighty might actually help me here. Marshmallow coming back will also help me. Set. Play. And then just fucking wait. Just wait. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. Mystical Space Typhoon. Dope. There goes Burn of the Mighty. But hey, I got another fucking spell token thing. <sighs> this is like... The only life point damage I've done to him is fucking Marshmallow. But this is it though. I feel this one being the, t the duel that I win. This is it. I, I can sense it. Oh, my back really hurts also because I just need the series to be done. Oh, I need it to be done. Fucking. I'm salty as well. I guess I got Marshmallow back like instantaneously. So that kind of didn't matter. But definitely slowed me down on getting fucking my magical marionette. Seriously? The, this guy just doesn't let me keep a monster on the field. Oh, I have a trap card that gets rid of the monster. Oh, I have another trap card that gets rid of the monster. Oh, I have a trap card that gets rid of your monster. Where's Royal Decree when I need it? I mean, this duel is just about done. Never mind, this won't be the time. Uh, set this. End turn. Doesn't have any more trap cards. He's going to attack Marshmallow again because he's done it before. So cool, that Marshmallow has now done a net worth of 2,000 life point damage. Oh, Old Vindictive Magician, here we go. He'll be a clutch. He'll kill something for me. He'll kill that fucking, uh... Well, let's get it to that Synchro Monster at least. And then I can summon you? Yeah. Let's kill this. Boom. I probably could have had a better usage of that, but... Ooh, let's summon you. Use this. Special summon. Boom. Activate the effect of a card. This. So I can special summon my... This fucking thing. Select one monster. You. Bottomless trap hole. Doesn't matter. I'm killing it. Right? Or is it too late? Did that beat that effect? Does matter, totally matters. Fuck me! Sideways! I fucking hate this guy. Why am I in the battle phase? Sure. Bottomless Trap Hole and Mirror Force me again. He still has two Mirror Forces in his deck. He might have used all of his Eject cards, but two Mirror Forces are still somewhere in his deck. I have another fucking Marshmallow, that's clutch. So let's up that Marshmallow net damage to 3,000 next turn. I can sacrifice the face-up one. Probably to start fucking doing something. 
Right, there you go. Attack that. Marshmallow damage counter at 3,000 right now. So it shows you, if anything, why I love this card so much. That's gotta be Mirror Force, right? It's gotta be Mirror Force. We'll set this. I'm not gonna fucking special summon. I'm going to use him. I'm gonna sacrifice one of the marshmallows. Boom. Uh, activate you. Uh, place it on this. Fuck it. Because I'm gonna pull from uh, add the designated card. Yes. Awesome. Okay, we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of spell counters here. Let's activate effect, right? Let's just wipe his field. Can I activate this effect once per turn or no? Kill this. Okay, it's only once per turn. Probably should have killed the face down monster, but I'm going to attack anyway and recklessly waste my winged or my magical marionette dude. Dope, killed two monsters that turn. There we go, Mystic Space Typhoon on that thing, but I did get another counter for that, so I can can be appreciative of that. I'll use Spell Power Grass next turn as well. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ooh, Magician Circle will be clutch for me. Set you. Let's play Spell Power Grasp. Let's set it on him. I'm not worried about losing him at this point. Gonna get another counter, and that gets another counter. I just got a fuck ton of counters. You can move to target one monster on the field to destroy it. Okay, so hopefully this lets me take out face down monsters. Yep. Take two from this. Boom, boom. And I can destroy face down monsters. Dope. Get rid of you. I don't know what the fuck that was, but it's dead now. And then next turn, I should be able to activate uh, Magician Circle, right? I can't activate it this turn, but next turn should be the turn I'm able to. And then end phase. Nope, not do anything. He's starting to get powerful enough where it doesn't matter what he's. It's gonna be really hard for him to summon something that can kill it, unless he summons that one ancient fairy dragon thing, which I'm sure he'll do. Or I'll just summon this, and then that. What's he attacking? Honest. <sighs> All right, for real this time, I gotta win this. Once more, with feeling, I got it. That I was so close in that last duel. So close. Also, I need to win because it's getting really hot in my apartment. I need to turn the air conditioning back on because I'm starting to sweat. But I can't turn the air conditioning on while I'm recording a video. But I don't want to stop the video in the middle of fucking recording. Just so I can fucking uh, turn the air conditioning on for a bit. So I'm just going to muscle through no matter how much fucking bullshit's happening right now. Even though all of the bullshit's happening. How much do you go down to 1900 which means you can still kill my fucking Defender of Magical Knight. Except if he's in defense mode and then I can sacrifice Dark Magician Girl next turn. And then she'll get fucking Mirror Force or Bottomless Trap Hold or fucking fucked in some type of way. Or just that. And then he'll get two or three possibly more direct attacks this turn because why the fuck not. I'm angry. I don't know if this comes across in the audio, but I'm pretty angry. There goes half my life points in a single turn. And there goes some cards. There goes my mirror force that I could have really used. Um. Yep. That's just, I don't know what to say at this point. I really don't know what to say at this point. There's marshmallow glasses for the fact that my marshmallow isn't here yet is just some little bit of irony to slap me in the motherfucking face. But it doesn't have anything set face down, which means my defender of the magical knight will stay on the field for another turn. Awesome. Get fucked. How's that hundred life point damage feel? Huh? How's that little bitch slap feel? Enjoy it. There's plenty more to come. Ooh, should I summon him? No, I should summon Dark Magician Girl, so against Yeah. Although, this would be pretty useful, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon Dark Magician Girl. Oh, I don't want to do that in case that's Bottomless Trap Hole, though. Fuck. Fuck you, Chumley. You got me fucking nervous as shit now. 
is probably this is probably a mistake. She's gonna synchro summon now for something that's probably has more than 2,000 attack. But if it has more than 2,700, then it really wouldn't matter what my decision was. Yep, it's going to. Okay, so it didn't matter. This thing was fucking dead, no matter what. But there we go. Finish me off in fucking three turns, because why even bother? Oh, seven turns, but uh, it's not going to kill me this turn, at least. Luckily. Marshmallow would be the only thing that can save me right now. Okay. There we go. I'm going to set Marshmallow. And I can play Marshmallow Glasses and then just hope for the fucking best. Literally. Just hope and pray. But this really is... There's not much left. 9,000 life points. That's, uh... It's a lot. Ooh, down to 8,000 attack. How's that feel? You stupid shit. Ooh, Sage Stone could really help, but I need to have something other than Marshmallow on the field before I can play. But I can now, I'm now free to set anything I want, because Marshmallow is the only thing that can be attacked with, as long as Marshmallow Glasses is there. So I could summon. Okay. Let's summon you, and let's kill that. We're gonna play Spell Power Grasp. We're gonna kill uh, this Iron Chain thing. Book of Moon, just kidding. All right. No, oh, because I didn't get to activate the effect, then it totally did not give me the other Spell Power Grasp card, which sucks. Okay. Again, nothing other than Marshmallow can be attacked right now. So I do have that going for me. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's summon Dark Magician Girl. And then I can use this. Bottomless Trap. Dope. I really don't I really don't know what to do here at this point. I have less cards than he does, so I can't draw him out. Huh, there's another marshmallow. That'll help me out a bit, I guess, maybe. I have two spell cards in my hand that I'll no longer be able to use without Dark Magician. Girl. I really don't know what my, what my plan is right now. I also like the frame rate is just tanking as the AI is like trying to think of what it's doing. Okay. Well, I still have a marshmallow on the field. Let's play this, even though I'm probably not going to attack with a magician for a while. Uh, set that. Because why the fuck not? Flip summon. I change it to defense position. I guess I can do that. Once per turn, you can discard one spell card to special summon a level 4 monster from your deck. Let's do that, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he can't be attacked, so it really doesn't matter. Let's discard with Dark Magician Girl removed from play. That Sage Stone doesn't do me any good right now. Uh, oh, it has to be level 4. Damn it, I was thinking I could get Old Vindictive Magician, but I cannot. Switch summon a monster from your hand or graveyard whose level is equal to the number of things you removed. Let's do... Okay, never mind. I was checking the field for spells and traps. I guess you. In defense mode. I could have attacked this. I guess. What, I, what can I special summon? Uh, this. Once returned, destroy it. Unless your opponent pays a thousand life points to negate this effect. I guess this is. We'll see. I do at least 2,000 points of life point damage if I do this. And then defense position. Activate effect. Boom. Attach you. Destroy. 
you. They're gonna pay a thousand, yep. Okay. I mean, that was, I saw that coming, but at least I did some damage. Because at this point, I do have to win by life point damage because of the uh, card difference between us right now. I'm gonna do another thousand life point damage to him next turn. Unless the AI decides it doesn't need it. Which I'm sure it won't make that decision, because that would be stupid. Although I could summon Magical Mo Well, I'll use this effect one more time, and then I'll sacrifice it for uh, my Magical Marionette. Do this, and I'll lower its attack by another thousand. There we go. And then next turn I could sacrifice it. There we go. This card is, each time a spell card is active, never mind, I can't use that thing's effect yet. I would need to wait until two spell cards are activated. What would really fuck me up right now is a Mystic Space Typhoon usage. Or, uh, any number of things, really. That would hurt. Okay, I like that it chose the XYZ monster. That's fucking annoying. I really don't want to sac- well, I can't sacrifice the face- Hmm. By removing you, you target one spell card out of the turn, once per turn, you can discard one spell card, then destroy one card, uh, card on the field. But I'd have to get rid of both of my marshmallows for this. And I think this can negate effects. Alright? No, it can't. But I really don't want to risk sacrificing both of my marshmallows to do that. Ooh. I can't play Marshmallow in an attack position. Interesting. Interesting things happening here. What could I... What's left in my deck, really, that I don't have already? Let's see, if I summon this by sacrificing the face-down Marshmallow in this... I could kill this, possibly, unless this is Bottomless Trap Hole, which it probably is. I'm probably safe in assuming it is. Let's do it. I still have a, a one face up Marshmallow, and it'll give me some good. We'll summon this, activate its effect, discard this, because I'm probably not going to get Dark Magician out anytime soon, and kill this. Okay. Uh, here's the risk I run into. If I attack this turn, I risk this being Mirror Force, which it probably is. But I really just need to attack at this point. Yes, activate you. Give me Dark... I can't get Dark Magician Girl at this point. But that is Mirror Force. Did see that coming. But I should be able to special summon... You. Let's special summon you. You can go through your opponent's deck. He has another Mirror Force to draw still. And some Mystic Space Typhoon he'll get next turn, which will kill my, uh, my Burden of the Mighty. Or, not my Burden of the Mighty, my Marshmallow Glasses, and will leave him vulnerable to attack. Uh, this gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. Let's kill this thing in the meantime. And then main phase two. I'm doing all this complicated shit, probably going to lose next turn anyway. Select cards to banish. Ooh, you could come in handy. And him using Mystic uh, Space Typhoon to kill my Marshmallow Glasses will also help me. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This could be close. I could potentially make a comeback. There we go. There goes Marshmallow and Glasses. He can now attack this. Uh, I'd have to win quick before he gets anything special out. So I think the idea here is going to be killing off Marshmallow now to fucking play. Summon you. Okay. I need to win, like, before he uses... Make your opponent one, discard one random card. I really don't want to do that. You can attack him. Get him off the field, and you'll attack this one, I guess. 
Okay. This could be the be like my greatest comeback or a horrible fucking loss. I don't think I should have counted how many turns until Mirror Force. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Mirror Force yet. Well, I can kill it with this card actually, can I? I can. When this card is summoned, place one, and you can remove to target one spell or trap card in the field. Let's do that. Summon you. Please don't. Oh, if it's bottomless trap hole, I really don't care. Boom. I could win this turn. This could be it. Fuck that thing that was Mirror Force. Special summon you, because at this point I've got so many fucking light monsters in the graveyard. And I probably got a shit ton of dark ones too. Yeah, Jesus. Get rid of you. For Black Luster Soldier. Let's have Black Luster Soldier attack both of the face down monsters, and then I can win by direct attack. Kill this thing. Yes. Which means you can attack this one, and then I can win through the other attacks. Woo! Fucking finally, I killed this guy. And that had that was some delicate finessing with that 300 life points I had left. Jesus fucking Christ. That Marshmallow again was the clutch factor in me winning that duel. Gee, all right. So I got a fabled thing that I didn't even see him play this one. Spirit of Flames. Who the fuck cares? Uh, premature burial. That's okay. Solemn wishes is okay. Sacred Phoenix of whatever, I don't give a shit. Alright, so that was a very unsuspected, hard-ass duel that I just had with fucking Chumley. So, and I'm pretty beat after fucking like an hour of dueling, so... Tune in next time as I duel Bastion Misawa, or whatever the fuck his name is. He looks like some cheap Kaiba ripoff. I'm pretty sure I probably called him that in the regular mode series that I did on this channel, but... I don't know. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you have a great day. Remember to share and subscribe, and also follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Those links are in the description. You'll see me tweeting about possible Let's Plays and all sorts of other cool stuff if you follow me on Twitter. And I will, like, tweet whenever I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that kind of stuff. I do a lot of cool things on Twitter, but not enough people follow me yet. So go ahead and do that, please. I would appreciate it. Anyway, see you around.